selection or we pressed the backspace key we are going to set it back to main so now if we press F5 and we go to the help area we get a error and it's because it's an argument out of range exception and that's because I removed something from the text version so four. so if we press F5 and go to the help area we have a problem with the display and press backspace to go back to the main menu at the very top of the window and the reason because if you look at the for loop inside the update text positioning we have many entries dot count we need to change that to help contents dot count now if we press F5 and go to help it will be appropriate now if we press enter, it'll go back to the main menu. Help again. If we press backspace, it'll go back to the main menu. So now our menu acts like it should. And believe it or not, our game is nearly finished. The game screen class will not require that much coding. So next tutorial, we'll discuss the individual game object classes which are the paddle class and the ball class and then the tutorial after that we will do finalizing the game which is creating the game screen class implementing that adding collision detection adding draw calls to that updating the screen manager class adding scores, how to draw scores and finally the final tutorial which is after that we will test our game and learn about distribution so we only have three tutorials left for this game and after that we will go into a more complicated but way better game so I hope to see you next time